This week, AI robots officially went too far. China is no longer just building prototypes, they're building a robot army. Full-size humanoids rolling out of factories, traffic cop robots standing on real streets, and even a robotic wolf evolving straight out of their military program. And while China is doing all this, Russia tried to step into the humanoid race, only for their first ever robot to fall flat on its face. Idol was Russia's first humanoid robot. It debuted on November 10th, 2025. It was positioned as Russia's answer to the world. But it didn't just fall on stage. It exposed how unprepared they are compared to the rest of the world. On the other side, Xpeng just dropped the biggest hint yet about when we might actually see their viral female robot, the one everyone thought was human, inside real homes. Hey guys, Alfie here. Welcome back to AI Nexus. We've got humanoids falling, humanoids cooking, humanoids working in streets and factories, and even robots shifting from military to commercial. This week in AI, things got crazy. Let's get started. First up, Russia's rocky humanoid debut. Russia tried to make a historic entrance into the global humanoid robotics race, and instead slipped straight into a viral internet punchline. Their first AI-powered humanoid robot, Idol, made its debut in Moscow on November 10th, 2025. This was supposed to be a proud, patriotic moment. A fully Russian-built humanoid with 77% domestically sourced components, emotional AI, over 40 degrees of freedom, and a human-like face capable of 12 full expressions. On paper, Idol sounded like a breakthrough. The robot stands 5 foot 4, runs neural networks that blend vision, audio, and touch, and even uses harmonic reasoning to adjust its movements in real time. And the design? A fully human face mounted on a mechanical body, a rare and bold direction in today's robotics landscape. But the big moment collapsed fast, literally. Idol took a few shaky steps, managed a small wave, then completely lost balance and crashed face first onto the stage. Audience gasps turned into stunned silence, and the internet exploded within minutes. Mimis poured in before the engineers even reached the robot. CEO Vitukin blamed harsh lighting for disrupting the sensors, explaining that the robot was still adapting to real-world conditions. Surprisingly, after a quick backstage recalibration, Idol stood up, waved again, and even performed smooth movements off-camera. But by then, the world had already seen the fall Russia wanted a triumphant comeback in robotics. Instead, they delivered the year's most accidental comedy moment a painful reminder that sim-to-real robotics is brutally unforgiving. While Russia's idol was face-planting on stage, China was silently entering a completely different era of robotics. Full-scale mass production of humanoid workers UB Tech just rolled out its first wave of Walkerist 2 robots, and the visuals looked straight out of a sci-fi movie. Rows of 5'9 humanoids lined up on assembly lines, ready for real industrial deployment. This isn't a flashy prototype. This is mass manufacturing hitting mid-November 2025. Walker S2 comes packed with next-generation features. Autonomous battery swapping, letting the robot dock itself, eject a drained battery, install a new one, and continue working 24-7 with zero human help. Its whole body dynamic balancing allows it to tilt up to 170 degrees, carry 15 kilogram payloads, and move through crowded factory floors with a natural, human-like gait. Fine motor grippers let it perform delicate tasks, while its AI chips enable real-time decision-making based on vision, touch, and feedback, not just pre-programmed scripts. This is an actual workforce, not a lab demo, and the demand is exploding. UB Tech has secured over 800 million yuan in industrial orders this year, around $110 million. Contracts include major deals like 159 million yuan from the Zigong Data Robot Center and 126 million yuan from Guangxi Digital Test Facility. These aren't government showcases, they're real businesses buying robots to solve real labor shortages. While Russia struggles to get one robot to walk straight, China is deploying robot armies in factories. The gap isn't closing, it's widening at lightning speed. While UB Tech focuses on industrial deployment, Xpeng is preparing something much bigger, full humanoid mass production starting in 2026. 
Xpeng just announced its full roadmap for mass-producing humanoid robots, and it's officially happening way faster than anyone expected. The company confirmed that Iron, their human-like robot that went viral for looking almost too real, is entering mass production preparation in 2026, followed by large-scale manufacturing at the end of that same year. Not a prototype batch, not limited testing, full industrial rollout. This shift comes after Xpeng rebranded itself from an EV company to an embodied intelligence company, openly stating that humanoid robots are now their core future, not cars. Iron is built around a human-like spine with synthetic skin, bionic fascia, and 82 degrees of freedom that give it natural movement. Each hand alone has 22 degrees of freedom, allowing precise object handling and expressive gestures. Inside, Xpeng is using three of its own AI chips delivering over 2,250 tops to run vision language action models, general multimodal perception, and real-time whole body motion control. This architecture is designed for real-world jobs, not just stage demos. Xpeng says the first wave of iron units will be used as sales assistants, rece reception staff, tour guides, and industrial helpers, including a direct partnership with Baowu Steel for plant-level tasks. But the biggest headline is the factory shot Xpeng released. Rows of identical iron units lined up like hardware ready to ship. For the first time, Xpeng is positioning a humanoid robot not as a futuristic idea, but as a product platform preparing to scale like consumer electronics. And just as Xpeng announced its production plans, they also did something no one expected on stage. Xpeng's humanoid robot Iron just did the unthinkable on stage. When people accused their female presenting robot of being a human actor in disguise, Xpeng didn't release a statement or show diagrams. They brought the robot back onto the stage and performed a live cut open demonstration. The CEO used a surgical-like tool to slice open the synthetic skin on Iron's side, peeling it back to reveal the metal endoskeleton, actuators, and bionic muscle systems underneath. It was a bold move meant to settle the debate instantly. And it worked. The internet went from it's fake to, okay, that's a real robot, in seconds. This demonstration also highlighted how far Xpeng has pushed realism. Iron's smooth gait, shoulder flow, and balanced posture made many people think it was a performer in a suit, but analysts reviewing the footage confirmed that Xpeng is using a human-like spine, redesigned hip joints, and a fascia layer that makes motion look organic instead of robotic. Right after clearing the doubts, Xpeng posted another clip, Iron performing slow-flow kung fu poses with full body coordination. Controlled stances, precise hand forms, smooth weight shifts, all powered by 82 degrees of freedom and Xpeng's custom AI chips. Together, these moments prove two things. Iron's movement is real. Xpeng is willing to push robotic transparency to a level no one else has attempted. If the company keeps this pace, Xpeng might become the industry's most unpredictable and most disruptive humanoid robotics player. This humanoid race is getting wild fast. I wanna know what you guys think. Which country is actually leading right now? Let me know in the comments. And while Xpeng is pushing realism to new levels, another giant is quietly preparing its own entry into robotics, Apple. Apple might be about to change the game again, not with a phone, not with a car, but with a robot. Yeah, you heard that right. Apple is reportedly working on its first humanoid robot project. Remember that self-driving car they quietly killed off? Turns out all that work on sensors, AI, and autonomy wasn't wasted, it just evolved. According to Bloomberg's Mark Gurman, Apple's already testing a tabletop robotic arm with an iPad-like display that literally turns towards you when you speak. That's not science fiction anymore. That's happening right now inside Apple's secret labs. And here's where things get wild. Morgan Stanley just dropped a projection that Apple could make $133 billion a year from humanoid robots by 2040. Not a typo. The same company that gave us the iPhone might soon become a robot empire. The analysts, including longtime Apple watcher Eric Woodring, say Apple could grab roughly 9% of the robotics market within 15 years. And when you realize that market barely exists today, that number suddenly feels insane. 
But this isn't just Wall Street hype. NVIDIA's Jensen Huang is calling humanoid robotics a multi-trillion dollar opportunity. Elon Musk says 80% of Tesla's future value will come from its Optimus robots. Foxconn's already deploying humanoids in its NVIDIA AI server plant, and Amazon just rolled out its one millionth warehouse robot. Every tech giant sees what's coming. Apple may be late to announce, but they're never late to dominate. If Morgan Stanley's right, we might be witnessing the birth of Apple's next blockbuster, the robot that could define the next decade. China just unleashed a new humanoid robot, not in a lab, but on the streets, as an actual traffic cop. Yeah, you heard that right. This isn't some prototype in a tech expo booth or a CGI clip online. This robot is standing at a real intersection, waving cars to stop, signaling pedestrians to cross, and managing the chaos of city traffic, all on its own. Now let's talk about what's happening right now, not in 2040. At the Shanghai China International Import Expo, the Fourier GR2 robot showed up to direct traffic, not as a demo, but as a working officer at busy intersections. Think about that for a second. A humanoid robot standing at a crosswalk, reading traffic patterns, making hand gestures, giving verbal directions. This isn't a controlled factory floor. This is chaotic urban traffic with pedestrians, cars, and bikes moving unpredictably. And the GR2 handled it. The GR2 uses AI-driven computer vision and path planning to interpret traffic density in real time. It reacts to sudden incidents. It adapts. And it does all this for up to two hours on a single battery before a quick swap. What makes this deployment so significant is that Fourier is proving humanoid robots can handle complex, unstructured environments. We're not talking about repetitive tasks in a warehouse. We're talking about dynamic public service, right in the heart of a major city. And because the GR2 is open to developer customizations through ROS and NVIDIA, Isaac, cities could quickly adapt these robots for multiple roles. Traffic management today, crowd control tomorrow, maybe even emergency response next year. The gap between simulation and real-world deployment just got a lot smaller. But while Apple is quietly building the future in its labs, and Fourier is already testing it in the streets, something even bigger is unfolding overseas. Because China isn't waiting for 2040. It's already turning military prototypes into real working machines. Remember that robotic wolf that marched at China's September 3rd Victory Day military parade? The one that moved in perfect sync with real soldiers? That wasn't just a show of power. It was a statement that China's military robotics program had quietly entered a new era. And now, the company behind it, 58 Intelligence Technology, just made its next big move. They've secured 500 million Chinese yuan, roughly 69.4 million US dollars, and unveiled a new quadruped robot called Sky Wolf, built not for the battlefield, but for the world of business and industry. Let's break it down. 58 Intelligence Technology, the same firm behind that viral robot wolf, is shifting gears. Sky Wolf takes the same foundation, extreme mobility, terrain handling, and AI-based autonomy, but applies it to search and rescue, logistics, security, and hazardous zone inspection. This marks a clear pivot from military testing to real-world deployment. Part of what experts call China's dual-use robotics strategy. Design for defense, adapt for enterprise. That $69 million boost gives 58 Intelligence the fuel to scale manufacturing, push next-gen research, and compete globally with names like Unitree, Ghost Robotics, and Boston Dynamics. Do you think we're ready for this level of robotics, or is it all moving too fast? Let me know in the comments, I really want to know your perspective. Every week, robots are crossing another line we once thought was impossible. Moving from experiments to actual co-workers. Factories, kitchens, even research labs. Everywhere you look, machines are no longer just tools. They're becoming partners. And this week, Navi AI proved just how close that future really is. Zhejiang just shocked everyone again with the Navi AI i3 a full-scale humanoid built for real-world human applications. Standing at six feet tall, it doesn't just walk. It glides over rocks, slopes, and uneven terrain like it's reading the ground itself. Engineers even kicked and pushed it several times during the demo, and it stayed perfectly balanced. The moment it raised a torch while patrolling, people in the crowd whispered, 
That's not a test robot anymore, that's a worker. But here's the crazy part. Navi-Eye isn't built just to walk, it's built to work. In garment factories, it can identify fabric and start the sewing process with a deviation under 2 millimeters. In coating workshops, it maintains 0.1 millimeter accuracy while avoiding chemical contamination. That's surgical precision. The team even showed it automating long laboratory tasks, transferring liquids between 1 and 500 milliliters using advanced fluid control algorithms. Then it switched roles. Watering plants, ironing, cleaning, cooking, even helping customers at a robot supermarket. Watching it pick up thin cloth or hand over a tray felt like watching the future of domestic help unfold in real time. You could tell, this isn't a prototype. It's a preview of what humanoids will actually do in homes and workplaces by 2026. Now let's move from the factory floor to the kitchen because Spirit Owl's Maz 1 just made cooking autonomous. In the demo, a woman gave it a cold meal. Maz 1 analyzed it visually, identified the dish, estimated the perfect heat and time, and reheated it, all on its own. It's powered by the Spirit Fief, 1-5LA system, giving it ultra-precise force control and 26 degrees of freedom across its body. That means it moves like a person, fast, smooth, and safe. Maz 1 can even reason through food prep, adding a raw egg to a sandwich without breaking the yolk. But here's where it gets wild. It refuses unsafe commands. If you try to hand it metal scissors to heat, it says no. The robot understands context and safety boundaries in real time. That's a level of autonomy we usually see in self-driving cars, not kitchens. And when you realize every motion is powered by the world's highest power density joints, it becomes clear. We're looking at the birth of the fully automated home chef. Imagine ordering your robot to reheat dinner, assemble breakfast, or assist an elderly person with meal prep, and it just does it. And if humanoids are mastering the body, the next revolution is in the hands. The DEX and DM model from Galbet Tsinghua University and the Shanghai Kiji Institute just changed everything about dexterous manipulation. Instead of relying on massive, perfect data sets, DEX and DM learns from messy real-world data. That's huge, because the real world is messy. The system replicates neuromuscular dynamics allowing robotic hands to handle delicate, irregular, or slender objects with human-like adaptability. In demonstrations, it sliced bread with a knife, used a screwdriver to fix a toy car, and even picked up a marker to write. That's not pre-programmed. It's emergent control learned through neural dynamics. But the staggering part is how it bridges the sim to real gap. Robots trained in simulation can now operate physical hands with the same finesse. It's not just research. The developers say they're moving toward production-ready workflows, which means the dexterity we've only seen in lab demos could soon reach commercial humanoids. So when you connect all these pieces, humanoids that walk like us, kitchen bots that think like us, and hands that move with human grace, it's clear we're no longer waiting for the robot revolution. We're already living inside it. The only question left is how fast we'll let them step into our everyday lives. What do you guys think about all this? Russia struggling, China scaling, x Bang going crazy, and Apple entering the game. That's the world of humanoid robotics this week. Breakthroughs, fails, and game-changing moves from every corner of the planet. We're watching history unfold in real time, and it's only getting faster from here. If you enjoyed this breakdown, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next wave of updates.